my youtube channel thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos i appreciate i love you right back so today we have another amazing recipe that you're going to make as you all can see we're going to make creamed spinach this is a very very delicious vegetable i hope you're going to enjoy it so straight to our ingredients we're going to use one large white onion i prefer using white onion to red onions because it's very tasty then we're going to use this cooking cream from brookside yes then um, this is my cooking oil then we have garlic then we have pepper then we have salt and this is our spinach so i hope guys are going to enjoy this video i hope you're going to watch it to the very end i hope you're going to comment so that i can get your feedback i hope you're going to share it with your friends and also going to subscribe so let's get to the cooking <music> Cutting the stalk of the spinach. I'm going to remove the stalk. Then I'm going to cut the spinach. I'm going to cut it in big sizes because it's going to shrink. The spinach is already washed, guys. So don't worry about that. I'm going to cut it nicely. Then I'm going to place it in this bowl. yet watched my video about the granite cooking pots please go back and watch it so this is my first time using this cooking pot and I know the experience will be amazing so at this point I'm going to pour in the cooking oil then I'm going to allow it to heat right so at this point i'm going to add in the white onions and then i'm going to give it some time to cook i will add the garlic later because garlic cooks faster than onions so i'm going to start with the white onions first Right. I will cover it and allow it to cook. The onions have started browning just a bit. So at this point, I'm going to add the garlic. The garlic is just to give us the aroma. 
So we'll give it time. So guys, as you can see, the onions have started browning. We don't want it to turn black. So at this point, I'm going to put in the vegetables or I'm going to add the vegetables bit by bit it looks a lot but it's going to shrink so I'll put bit by bit as I stir and wait Guys, I know you are asking why I didn't boil my vegetables. There are people who like to boil their vegetables first, but for me I don't because I like to preserve the nutrients. So I love eating my vegetables. I love them green, that is. Wow. So I'm going to add the other bit that is left so that they can all cook at once. So I'm going to reduce the heat, right, so that it can cook slowly. I just want to keep on turning it to ensure that it's evenly cooked. Wow. Look at that. Guys, the aroma is out of this world. The aroma is something else. I believe it's because of the garlic. Look at how the vegetables have become very, very small. Literally, it has shrunk. So at this point, I'm going to add in the salt. I'm going to put just a little salt. Then I'm going to add in the black pepper. Wow. I'm going to stir it nicely. As you can see, guys, it has its own stew. I did not add any water. It's very amazing. Looks so yummy and delicious. So, because, so because we do not want our vegetable to cook for too long, at this point, I'm going to add the whipping cream. Right. Wow, wow, 
Look at that, guys. Looks so yummy and delicious. Wow. So at this point, I'm going to cover it. Then I'm going to allow it to simmer. So I'm going to stir it. Wow. Look at this, guys. It looks so tasty and delicious. So this is our simple, simple cream spinach recipe. As you can see, it's very simple. This is best served with ugali. You can serve it as a side dish when you're eating rice or chapati. Or basically, it goes with all the dishes. Wow. Wow, so delicious. So guys, this is the end of this video. I know you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next episode of Mami 2 J's Asewe, please stay tuned for more recipes like this. I'm going to be uploading like twice a week. I hope you're going to stay tuned. So keep it here, guys. Bye.